Dear students, please note down. The notes of today's lecture are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in today's lecture, we will clear male reproductive system of rat, ratus, ratus, house rat. Today, we will clear a topic of BSc second year four semester students male reproductive system of rat that consists of following parts. A pair of testes and these testes are male gonads which are oval shaped, pinkish in color and these testes are always extra abdominal. It means these testes are present in extra abdominal sacs and these are scrotal sacs. In this scrotum, the chamber, the pouch in which testes are present here, each test is rests upon a connective tissue pad and this connective tissue pad that is named gubernaculum. No down, in each test is about 900 seminiferous tubules are present and these seminiferous tubules are lined by germinal epithelium that gives rise spermatozoa. Dear students, just behind this testis, these are a pair of elongated coiled tubular structures. These are epididymis. Just behind the testis, it means epididymis, these are posterior lateral in position to each testis and these epididymis look here having three parts this upper part which is head or it is caput epididymis this middle part it is body or it is corpus epididymis and this lower part it is tail or caudal epididymis this epididymis which is highly coiled tubular structure Having three parts, head it is caput, this middle part, main part, body it is corpus and it's this lower tail region that is caudal epididymis and this epididymis is involved in the storage of spermatozoa, in the physiological functioning of spermatozoa as well as maturation of spermatozoa takes place in these highly coiled tubular structures in epididymis. From the posterior part of each epididymis, these are elongated a pair of tubular structures or these are ducts which carry the sperms. These are sperm ducts or these are vasa deferentia. Both sides of vasa deferentia which run. In this upper region, here left and right vasa deferentia unite near the opening of both seminal vesicles to produce an ejaculatory duct. This one, this part is ejaculatory duct. Here, this ejaculatory duct which, which runs through the prostate gland and it unites the urethra. Dear students, note down, in case of male reproductive system of rat, a pair of testes are present which are male gonads. In these testes, the functional units are seminiferous tubules which are lined by germinal epithelium to give rise spermatozoa. And these testes are extra abdominal, present in scrotal sacs. Here in these scrotal sacs each testis rests upon a connective tissue pad that is gubernaculum. Posterior lateral side of each testis these are highly coiled tubular structures which are epididymis and these epididymis having three parts upper head is caput middle body that is 
corpus and this posterior tail region it is coda epididymis in these coiled tubular structures epididymis storage maturation and physiological functioning of spermatozoa take place from these epididymis these fine ducts which run in upper direction unite here near the opening of these seminal vesicles to produce an ejaculatory duct and this ejaculatory duct which runs through this prostate gland and unites with this urethra this particular part this is urethra elongated part and this urethra acts as urinogenital duct as through this urethra the conduction of urine conduction of sperms as well as the conduction of male reproductive secretions take place so this urethra acts as urinogenital duct and this urethra is divided into three parts here in prostate region it is prostatic urethra this middle part is it is membranous urethra and here at terminal part of this urethra it constitutes that is penile urethra the next part that is penis it is an erectile male copulatory organ and just near the opening of this penis aperture urinogenital aperture a pair of glands are present these are prepucial glands the secretion of these prepucial glands or panes which lubricate the external genitalia dear students in this male reproductive system other accessory glands are also present these are a pair of elongated tubular structures these are seminal vesicles the secretion of these seminal vesicles that constitutes about 60% of male reproductive discharge that is semen and the secretion of these seminal vesicles that secretion contains a hormone that is prostaglandin hormone all competitive exam students no doubt the secretion of these seminal vesicles that contains prostaglandin and that prostaglandin stimulates the vagina of female reproductive system so that the contraction of vagina that helps in the movements of sperms which is necessary for the fusion of gametes fertilization then the next accessory gland is a prostate gland and this prostate gland that secretes about 30% part of male reproductive discharge semen and its alkaline secretion that alkaline secretion neutralizes the acidity of urine which helps in the motility the movements the functioning of sperms the alkaline secretion which is essential for the physiological activities of spermatozoa then a pair of accessory glands these are cowper's glands or bulbo urethral gl glands which are present on this membranous urethra and the secretion of these cowper's glands which lubricates the vagina that helps in copulation and a pair of prepucial glands which are present near the opening of urinogenital apertures and the secretion of these prepucial glands that secretion also lubricates external genitalia this is all about male reproductive system of rat that consists of a pair of male gonads these are testes and the testes are extra abdominal these are present outside the abdominal in case of mammals and here in this scrotum 
the scrotal sacs are present in which each test is rest on this connective tissue ligament pad that is gubernacula posterior lateral side of each testes these are highly coiled structures these are epididymis which involves in the storage physiological functioning and maturation of spermatozoa these are epididymis each epididymis having head caput this middle part body that is corpus and this tail region that is posterior part is it is caudal epididymis from these epididymis a pair of fine ducts which run in upper direction and unite here near the opening of these seminal vesicles to form an ejaculatory duct and this ejaculatory duct which runs through this prostate gland and unites the urethra this urethra which acts as urinogenital duct as through this urethra conduction of urine conduction of semen conduction of spermatozoa may reproductive discharge take place and this urethra is divided into three parts upper part is prostatic part this middle part it is membranous part and this last part that is penile urethra this urethra here a terminal part having an erectile copulatory organ and this male external genitalia it is panis this copulatory organ is panis which opens by urinogenital apertures and at the opening of this panis a pair of accessory glands these are prepucial glands which involve in the lubrication of external genitalia three more additional accessory glands these are a pair of seminal vesicles which secrete prostaglandin and the hormone prostaglandin which involves in the stimulation of vagina and the contraction of vagina that particularly involves in the motility movements of spermatozoa which helps in fertilization movements of spermatozoa in the union of sperm and egg the prostate gland that produce an alkaline secretion which is essential for the physiological activities of spermatozoa a pair of cowper's glands the secretion of these cowper glands or bulbo urethral glands which lubricates the vagina that that is involved in copulation this is all about male reproductive system of rat in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss female reproductive system of rat thank you